Hi guys, I think here. So for this video, is the version 3.4.5 highlights is basically the the um, repeating stuff that we saw in the new version preview. But this time will be Tiki explaining to us, right? So let's take a look here. Hey guys, I'm here. So today. I'm Okay, so we have the new Esper, which is the two Esper, right? The Flow one and the Shimmer one, which you, you guys have already saw yesterday. Oh, wait, look at him. Wait, 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 look at him. He have a mask. He's wearing the mask, like the in-game model is so nice. He's wearing the mask. Oh my god. So cute. <laughs> Oh, it's like a mouth, you know, the chest. God of heaven in Chinese mythology. Oh my god, so thick. So you know Dijiang, the, the character of the god is actually faceless and there's like four wings. That's why the the Asper here, there's like no eye because um the god is, itself is, is like a fluffy ball but without any face and there's four wings. So I think the four wing design is implemented into the sword here is considered as the wing of the god. And then the faceless here which is considered as the blind here is the faceless of the god. So I think that's how they, they get the inspiration for this design. Which is pretty amazing. Like this is the wing, you know? Nah, four wings and no face. Okay, so new events which we have is the current... Yeah, so we can skip this part here. Okay. The skin is good. Like the staff here, there's a dragon design surrounding the staff, which is pretty nice. And then here's like the dragon balls <laughs> surrounding Tangxian. Overall, I like I like his design. Overall, I like it. even though I don't really use him a lot, but when it comes to handy, he is really good. Okay. So keep note, it's only active, it will only start at May 10, right? So it's not instantly when you start the um, game. And for those players who have been asking, like the rewind event is not going to give back the ability mod. They actually changed the the patch note already because they actually told me that the ability mod will 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 return back as well. But I didn't know why the patch note they didn't mention it. They, I think they, it's a typo. But anyway, they already changed it back. So keep note that your the rewind event now will also return back the ability mod. So it's a very good opportunity to actually reset the Esper that you're not no longer using to get back the ability mod so you can invest on the other Esper. Like uh, for my case, maybe it's like Everett. I'm not going to use him anymore. And I don't know, I have to check other Esper. So I, if not mistaken, the rewind event here is up to two Esper. Then maybe you can start considering which Esper you want to go for the reset. Okay, this is the voting event. But how many Esper can we vote? Like, is that is that Jinchu? Oh wait, wait! Is this a new Esper? Wait, this is this is this seems like a small teaser that we're gonna get at the next next patch. It's like after the anniversary patch, then we're gonna have a new Esper, which is uh I don't know how to say. Is it like a samurai hat? But it looks like Valentine's design though. But anyway, it looks very nice. Like the, I like the theme of this design. I really hope I can like keep this one. But I know it's gonna be limited one, the night carnival. And then we have a, actually a new Esper leak again. Oh my god, she she so she seems so pretty. Oh my god, they they actually trying to tease us with a lot of new Esper around. Yeah, limited time period. Cause, cause, so, so it's not permanent. Okay. 
Yeah, this is what we already know. Let me see what can I skip. Okay, the jigsaw first. Um, we get to pick a non shimmer epic as well of your choice upon. Oh, okay, so technically any epic as well, but not shimmer. Yeah, so the flaming echo is for non shimmer legendary only. So you want to pray that your, your sixth option here is going to be someone you don't have yet or someone you're not max rezo yet, then you can pick him for free. But keep note you're going to need the 50 um, echo spin to get these three options so make sure you keep like 50 uh, go record or maybe you just just um, need to like at least spin 50 times within the event including the elemental records then you're able to pick one esper out of the six options here i'll make a guide video for that as well so no worries it's like this one pop valeria that will come here Okay, flashback, anything else? New gameplay? Okay. But do you guys notice that he is using Lee Kuang to fight Andras? But I think Lee Kuang is not quitting at all. Maybe it's something to do with the talent tree. Optimization. Okay, so what do we have? Ah, yeah, the Ritual Miracle increased difficulty. I know like some of you guys think that it's not a good update about the Ritual Miracle difficulty, but for me as an end game player, and I, I have been, we we have been a lot have a lot of speed running for Ritual Miracle 16 already because we are strong enough to actually get for 16 to 20. But for those new player or the player who still not able to grind 16 comfortably 17 is to 20 is not something uh, mandatory to go for because the only difference to 17 and 20 is like higher chance to get flawless uh, and, and then um, you spend a bit more stamina but you get three equipment it's like you try to min maxing in the game so if you are not if you can't grind 17 to 20 you don't have to really worry about it because um, 16 is actually all what you need. 16 gives you a very stable the, of the level 60 quality um, equipment already. You don't really need to go for the 17 to 20. So if you can't really do that, no no, no stress because 17 to 20 is actually a very end game content for us player to actually go for challenge it. And maybe you still see, maybe we are able to do like three turn or five turn speed run. Stay tuned on my channel. People will like um, submit their um, recording and then I'll make it to the video and share it to everyone as well. All right, so don't stress out. It's like they adding new difficulty. This is what we need in the game as well for the end game player because we need some new challenge. But if you cannot reach 17 to 20, 16 is where a good spot for you already. Yeah, I see. A wider range of Asper to meet a specific elemental class requirement. What does this mean? Is does that mean it, it will like limit us to like use a certain element class? It's like the desolate land you can only use um, all flow type to fight. Is it something like that? Yeah. Okay. Yep, I'm excited as well. Oh, you see, summer coming soon, and we're gonna have summer skin, right? And we're gonna have two summer skin. So we are not sure. I'm not sure what is the skin coming up. You guys can give your uh, like leave a comment to give a guess, um, and see what is the upcoming summer skin as well. Okay, so that's all for the new uh, the version highlights, right? But let's take a look at my um, guessing previously. So from my previous guessing, this is my uh, guess. Like we have collab all the free as well, this thing, right? So um I'm gonna take out like what we have now. Cause this is a pre-anniversary. This is not the final outcome yet. We're gonna have another anniversary patch. Cause we're gonna have a, like a meet the teams or maybe like the anniversary live stream, all those stuff, right? So for now we're gonna we have this. We have um sneak peek, not yet. We free shimmer, nope. New shimmer, yeah. Um new skin. I guess so because Tangshin considers a new skin, new bosses. I don't count as I don't count the Chimera as a new bosses. 
New Fusion we don't have. Free Asper, I'll say yes. We have the Asper reset. Then Flashback, Flaming Echo. Then I guess that's all for now. So far it's correct with 7. Then we'll see the rest at the anniversary patch. We'll see if we have anything uh, able to see at the future, right? So yeah, feel free to comment down how do you think about this upcoming update and hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Special thanks for the direct support on the YouTube membership. So for the benefactor of RTL, which is JNMP, Rosas15, Monkut Rajali, thank you so much for the support and special thanks to Merlin Williams for the highest tips giver in my live stream. Thank you so much for the support and for the supporter and patron of RTL, which is Louis Schneider, Agni, Jemmai, Code Wilderness, Wang Tamer, Rimu, Choni, Ziggy, Kamaruki, Sunwalks, Rekatus, Cult Worshipper, Von Hexa and Loosely, thank you so much for the support and special thanks to the one month support. And special thanks for everyone who have been supporting me for one month streak and Louis Shenade and Acne for the three month streak of support. It really helps a lot for my channel and hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.